To create my 3D template, I start with a 2D sketch and I draw it along the x-axis. First thing I'm going to do is add a centered rectangle that represents the overall template size, in this case 5 and an eighth inches by an inch and 5 eighths. I'm going to get rid of the construction lines that are created here because I don't need them and they get in my way. Next I'll add another centered rectangle on the origin uh, representing the shoulder of the jig. So this is inch and a half total width. And I add a third centered rectangle. And this time I'll make it a construction line because this is just going to guide me in the placement of, uh, of a circle that I need later for the pin template. Still using the construction line, I'll add a circle that represents the guide bushing diameter plus an adjustment of 0 0.005 inches. That makes a good fit. And I'll add another one that represents the cutting diameter of my router bit on that other construction rectangle. And this is 11 16 That guides where I put the um, angled lines for the pin template, which I'm going to do next. So I switch back to normal line type and place my first line at that intersection between the circle and the shoulder of the, or sorry, the backing board. And you'll notice I'm drawing these at eight degrees, which is the angle of my router bit. And I extend them past the end of the jig, doesn't matter. Now I'm gonna extend those lines back to the shoulder and that creates the pin template. And add two more lines on the other side of the jig to create the groove for the, um, for the dovetail cut. Last thing I need to do is add a circle for the hole that goes through the center of the jig. This is 0.18 inches, which is the diameter of the screws that I'm using. Now I finish the sketch and I have a 2D shape that has all the shapes that I need to create the different 3D templates that I'm gonna use for my jig.